All right, so the fight is now underway. We'll see how long it goes. You've got a submission specialist on one side, and on the other side, maybe the most well-rounded fighter in this division. Yeah, he is one of the best fighters in the entire UFC. But in front of him, he has one of the most dangerous fighters across all divisions in the octagon, because that one skill he has is so good that you're, un you're in danger the entire time. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh! Forty-five seconds remain in the round. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. Fifteen seconds. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, landed that inside leg kick. Already a welt on his opponent. All right, let us look back at some of the action from that previous round. DC punches in bunches. I mean, over and over, he landed that big punch. And every time he landed it, he got the reaction that he was looking for. His opponent really did start to take notice every time he was loading that strike up. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always going to be. When you have two very talented fighters, Sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Nice kick. Caught that kick there. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. Oh, perfect head kick there. Two minutes to go. Lee's hook shot there looked pretty good, but blocked by the defense. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him. Oh, that was a double leg -like takedown attempt here, and that one is true. Nice job there to enter and ultimately plant his opponent on the mat. Now what does he do? That he's got his best shot off, finish the attack. Where does he go now from the top position? Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's gotta grab that head or he's going to get blasted. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates distance and space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round.
All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now moving forward. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do and it stays this close, you got to really switch it up. What Turner is able to relay that message to their fighter better in between rounds. Big kick lands. Just reached the midway point of the fight. And he landed the right hand there. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Big Paul punch lands. Now he gets back to range. How's his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. He didn't like that left hand. He's got him hurt here. Urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Hands on the feet. His opponent in a lot of trouble now. That was Cain Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he landed that overhand right, he hurt people bad. And this guy has his opponent hurt very badly again. Just unable to quite find that range. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going here. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Another powerful kick there. A lot of volume with the feet tonight for him. It's unbelievable to watch somebody make kicking the base of their fighting style. He has shown us that it's possible. Right hand upstairs. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that punch. Oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. Oh, big shot lands. Oh, caught him there with the head kick. Oh, nice. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. And a nice left hand there on the inside. Lee gets hit with another flush left to the head. Legendary chin, but it has been tested tonight. Big kick lands. Oh, and he caught the kick. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent.
we have arrived at this fifth and final round. <laughs> Lee gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Punch over the top. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Whiffs on that offering. And a miss with the right hook. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He landed a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. Oh, he's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Oh, man, that couldn't have felt good. Flush knee lands to the body by the taller fight. Oh, big left. Oh, and he finally gets the takedown now. So what do they say? It, try, try again. If, if at first you don't succeed, you try, try again. And this guy is the poster boy for that saying, because he shot many takedown attempts, and he finally has secured one. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. What a fight! All right, let's look back at some of the action, DC. They go the distance tonight, but you got to think he won over the judges with his striking acumen tonight. Yeah, you got to watch one of the best strikers in the entire UFC. He did everything so well, and in my opinion, he should cruise to a very easy decision.